hold that pillow tight. Hide under those covers. Cower in fear, for darkness is here. Welcome back to Time Travel 2004. Today, we are the darkness. Hello folks, I'm the Ghost of the Knife, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And today we are revisiting one of my favorite classic Yu-Gi-Oh! decks. In the Time Travel 2004 event, we are revisiting the Dark Fiend deck. Now, I know Earth Machines is kind of a deck in current Yu-Gi-Oh!, but back then in really old Yu-Gi-Oh!, your type and your attribute could actually really matter thanks to quite a few cards. Quite a few of them we have packed here in this absolutely nasty deck with all sorts of interesting tech cards, if you ask me in particular. For example, uh, the DD Trainer, which is a 100 attack, 2000 defense, level 1 normal Dark Fiend monster, which you think wouldn't actually matter but because he's a pretty good defensive monster, he can sit there and just exist while you have the Goblin King, who comes out and gets bigger for every other fiend, and also can't be attacked as long as you own another fiend monster. And he's also a level 1, which allows him to out stuff like level limit, which can be kind of relevant in this event. Or you have cards like Giant Germ, which is this card that summons other Giant Germs and also damages your opponent. Which is really good setup for something like a tribute monster like Dark Ruler Hot Death. One of the most terrifying old tribute monsters because he's just this big 2450 body. You can't special summon him from the graveyard. However, any monster effect that your opponent has that is a monster destroyed in battle by one of your fiends is negated. It is one of the oldest negates out there and he is one of the most powerful. Main Eater Bug doesn't do nothing. Morphing Jar doesn't do nothing. Mystic Tomato doesn't do nothing as long as the Dark Ruler is here to oppress you. You also get a really powerful Dark Fiend monster in the end of Anubis who just turns off your access to the grave. Or Dark Necrofear, which is a fun little kind of relinquished style card that when it's destroyed you get to steal one of your opponent's monsters. We don't get a lot of value out of it in these games, but you can definitely do some nasty things in this. That's a great singleton card. And you know what else you get access to in Dark Fiends? One of my favorite monsters, Karibo. Karibo has been a meme for me for quite a while. Anytime somebody tells me what kind of, what kind of card they should add in a deck in any game that isn't Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm just like, dude, throw in Karibo, because I think this card's hilarious. He is essentially the first ever hand trap. If your opponent uh, attacks you, you can discard this, and you take no battle damage from that attack. It's a great way to stall out your opponent, but more importantly, he's a Dark Fiend monster that's level 1. Again, good for um, level limit, but more importantly, since he's level 1, we can actually feed him to Metamorphosis, so we can grab the Thousand Eyes Restrict. I know he's not a fiend, but he's a dark monster, and he does technically count, and he's also one of the only ways we can actually out a Horus. So... Yeah, at least the level 5 or 6 Horus, whatever. Because then we can suck up that Horus, and then we can start beating down our opponent. And that's the main reason we have him. Also, we can use Goblin King as a target for Metamorphosis. We only have one Restrict. We don't really care about drawing the second one. We just have a second one in the deck to add a little bit of consistency in case we really need this card. Outside of that, we just have some Dark Fiends with Big Attack. And we have a lot of removal. We've got Nobleman of Crossout, Lightning Vortex, Smashing Grounds. We have Sakuritsu Armor, Bottomless Trap Hole, Crush Card, which is a card we have access to thanks to Garibo, DD Trainer, and the Goblin King, which is a devastatingly powerful card in this meta game. Uh, some Dust Tornadoes for more Spell Trap removal. Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon. We also have a, one copy of Mystic Plasma Zone. It doesn't get that much value in these games, but hey, adding more attack to an already really aggressive deck can be very helpful. There was one game that did not get uh, put in the final product of this video. That was just me trying to beat somebody down with Mage Power Karipa with this and uh, Mystic Plasma Zone. Oh yeah, by the way, we have Mage Power, which is just a really good equip in the 2004 era. And that is going to cover our Dark Fiend deck. Are we going to oppress our opponents and allow the darkness to come in and squeeze the life out of them? Or are we just going to get outshined by other decks like the Fusion deck or the Horus deck? You'll have to find out in those games. So thank you for tuning in. And my god, this hand is hilarious. 
So we're going to absolutely ruin my opponent's day here. Oh my god, they're about to cry. I have the almighty crush card. Oh. Please let me activate my trap. Oh, don't worry. That's that's not going to stick. Crush card. All right, what's in your hand, buddy? Nice nobleman, by the way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there goes your hand <laughs> oh my god that was the most satisfying thing I think I've ever seen in my life oh scoop <laughs> scoop come on you know you want to scoop after that the next three turns you don't have monsters I get it it's hard to come back from that no we're not scooping wow what a champion! Oh no. Necrofear. Oh god, this is gonna be brutal. Alright, Archfiend Soldier. Alright, for three turns you don't get car you don't get big monsters. Oh right, right. It's fine. We are absolutely fine here. Uh, if they do try to attack me, I can Karibo them. <laughs> uh, I bet my opponent is like, did I just get crush carded by frickin' Karibo? Oh, dude, this has to stay in no matter what. Oh my god. I forgot they don't take damage after the crush card. Is that new? That has to be a new effect they eroded onto it. Because I remember Crush Card not doing that. If that's always what it's done, I'm gonna have Stroke. Um, actually... Dust Tornado. Uh, yep, nope. You will not have your body as a shield. <laughs> Let me just summon Ha Death so we start beating them down to death, yeah. Oh, that was that was so satisfying. Karibo into Crush Card. Okay, getting into our next game here. Hopefully, I don't draw all traps. Oh, I didn't. That, isn't that so nice? To not draw mono traps. Well, that's pretty sick. Then more this with Goblin King is pretty sick here. All right. Play a germ face down. I can make some pretty interesting plays here. We can metamorph size into thousand eyes if we need to. We have that option open to us. Which would be a pretty sick series of plays. MST. Man, I can't catch a break with this deck. Every time I queue up and do a game, I just can't catch a break in any card game, really. Come on, dude. It's fine. We can out this. What am I saying? I can out this pretty easily, right? It would just metamorphosize into the big one. I could mage power to kill this. 
Actually, I like this more. This is more damage, technically. Goblin King, go! You have a royal decree and know the real traps. The next turn we play hot deaths and we just beat the crap out of my opponent. Oops. I'll set this to increase my mage power. Because mage power is very powerful here. It'll ensure Goblin King is at least 2,000. And if I really need to out them, I can go use Metamorphosis. Tiff? Tib. Oh my god. Why do you always have an out? I'm getting really tired of my opponents always having an out. That's getting old. Okay, we got two, three Karibos and another Goblin King I can metamorphosize into to grab that Tiv. Just like that. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? My opponent is very confused. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm grabbing? Spoiler alert. It starts with you being restricted. And I now scoop up your Tiv. Thank you so much. They could MST this. They could out this crazily enough. All right. That Restrict should be able to finish off this game pretty easily. <laughs> ah, yes, the Metamorphosis Karibo plays. Just as we just as we drew them up. <laughs> uh and I still have hot deaths, which hot deaths is absolutely backbreaking in their current position. Um That's not how that works. But it's okay, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's not how the spell works. Sorry, buddy. I've got a thousand eyes restrict. I bet you'd love to swing at the Thousand Eyes Restrict, wouldn't you? I mean, if you could, it'd be awesome. But then I'd just steal your bigger Horus. And then what would you do? <laughs> God, this card is so funny. Okay. So we can Mage Power here, but it's fine. Boom Shakalaka. That's nice. Yo, you want to see something funny as hell? We play an Archfiend Soldier. Which can't attack, but it's fine. I know that's Royal Decree back there. Don't worry. You've had enough chances to activate it. Well, yo, watch this. And we crash. Which gives you that. Main phase two. Now you can out my Thousand Eyes Restrict. Congratulations. Aren't I so nice? You can out me now, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they can't attack at all. Yeah, no, you still can't attack. Yeah, that's that's the problem, buddy. You still can't attack. Yeah, I just realized you can't attack. <laughs> They get it. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going with our first game here. Pretty sick. We've got Goblin King with a Metamorphosis, which is a great line of play. 
I had a game with Goblin King and um, going up against Exodia with level limit. I just... I was looking for Dust Tornado really bad and I just couldn't get it. No matter what I did, I just could not get down. Uh, I could, could not grab a Dust Tornado to win. I had a Dark Necrofear, a Hot Death, and a DD Trainer with a Goblin King. And I was beating through their monsters. I just couldn't do it fast enough. And I lost my first Goblin King. If I had a second one, I could have won. But no. Uh, just could not get through Exodia fast enough. That, that By the point I surrendered, they had like 10 cards left. And they just revealed the Nimoma manga. And I was like, oh, awesome. Okay. Are we going to use Breaker? Because that's just a free Archfiend. <laughs> that's just a free Archfiend swing, buddy. And if you don't break her, I'm a sucker Ritz armor. We are going to break her. Cool. That does not out the Archfiend Soldier, though. Getting rid of the Dust right now. Cool. Still got the armor. What the hell? Why are you doing that? Maybe it was a misclick. Okay. That's fine. Okay, okay. Archfain Soldier number two. Goblin King after the second Archfain Soldier. That gives us a devastating board. Uh. These situations like this where Goblin King is just a win more card. If they try any funny business, I've got Sako Ritsu Armor. I've got Nobleman of Cross out. I think I have game on board next. 38, 2000. Yeah, I have exact game. Holy cow. Archfiend Soldier Beatdown, dude. I love this card. <laughs> ba -ba. Still cool that Goblin King is going to get some, uh, some shine here. Haribo is shine plenty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now hold on there, sports fans. That's not okay. Is this... Horus? It has to be. I didn't realize Breaker was in Horus till three seconds ago. Makes sense. So... Hot Des outs the Behemoth? With oh, in phase anyways. Okay. MST is sick. Not what I'm looking for here, though. And I still have Metamorphosis in case I really need it. Surprise! And we can still cycle Ritz Warmer, whatever they throw at us. I'm gonna hold on to the MST in my hand. We don't have game on board. We have a Sakuretsu armor down. Man, this just shows you how powerful Goblin King can be. He can't be attacked because I have two other fiends and he's 2,000 attack. If I get a third fiend, he's 3,000. Goblin King is one of those cards people are going to heavily underestimate for this event. Yeah, we don't care about that. You may be immune to spells, but you're not immune to this Sakuritsu armor. God, if this was Bark, it'd be even funnier. I could kill them with Bark. <laughs> uh, sad we haven't gotten to showcase Bark. Bark is one of my favorite cards. You think this is that ten? No, no, that's Dark Lucius. I was gonna say. You think this is the ten Yi guy? No, that's Dark Lucius. Hundo percent. At least I think it is. You know, Goblin King is fantastic in this deck. I kind of was like, I shouldn't craft this. But yeah, it's pretty darn good in this deck. The Archie Soldier is just an all-star, like usual. They could just go full defense, and then we Nobleman, and then they're like, ah, okay. So we are 100% going for Horus here, right? God, you're predictable, dude. Well, you've already gotten rid of one. No, that was Breaker. You better have MST. You better have MST. Show me MST. 
snatched you? We're stealing Arsene Soldier, okay. But why? I guess they want the free 2000 on Goblin King? I still win thanks to Metamorphosis, but... I originally wasn't gonna run Thousand Eyes Restrict because I was like, it's not a fiend, but I was like, nah, I probably should have it just in case of Horus. Alright, who's going first? Archerine Soldier, I'm assuming? We're we crashing? Crashing these two is probably what they need to do. Crashing? Yep. No, I'm good. I still out Horus. Yo, what up? Come on, any fiend. No, actually, any fiend does not do it. Actually, no, any fiend protects Goblin King long enough that I could metamorphosis whatever they, whatever I need to to grab Thousand Eyes Restrict. Literally, any fiend wins me this game, right? No, Dark Necrofear could lose me the game. Premature burial. Well, that is going to be game. That is 100% game here. Cool. So I have game on board. Awesome. Yeah, this doesn't evolve. Level up, whatever. Okay, cool. Opticlops. Hilarious, but not what we need in this situation. See ya! Hello, it's me! Everybody's favorite monster. Thousand Eyes Restrict. <laughs> I will scoop up your Horus now. Thank you very much. Very tasty. Big dragon. Big bird! Mmm. Tastes like chicken. Thank you for contributing to my, uh, my... Hot Death Expansion Program. Bye bye <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fiends are so much fun, man. I'm not in a great mood. I just lost three games to RNG. Like, bad RNG. So, uh, like... Okay. What? Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. We have... We have outs. If I could, you know, play the card game for the first time in five games, that'd be super cool. Instead of drawing brick after brick after brick. Oh, well, my opponent sits there and draws non-stop gas. They draw the ritual monster they need, they draw the ritual card, they draw the fusion they need, they draw the Horus out, they draw Exodia. Getting really tired of just not having the ability to win the damn card game. I've got a great deck. It has great options and great answers, but I can never seem to draw them. My opponent's gonna pull out a... <sighs> I'm just so freaking tilted right now, I don't want to deal with this. Swords are revealing light. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. Uh-huh, perfect card, perfect answer card, every time. Everyone's always got the perfect answer, perfect answers. Everyone's got perfect answers. Yep. This giant germ is useless. Of course they have all the frickin' cards they need to win. I'm more concerned with this than swords. Compulse, dude, you're kidding me. Bark is nice here. One down. 
with the other Goblin King, and then uh, I can't be attacked. Right, and then I Goblin King lock them. And I have two ta two I have two two thousand attack beaters that I can just beat the hell out of my opponent with. Card destruction, so cool. What are we playing? This gives me no information. So glad I lost my call of the haunted for this. Well, I can't Goblin King them. That sucks. You're kidding me. Is this a freaking stall deck? I am going to uninstall my life. Yup. So cool. So fucking cool that my opponent just gets everything they want. I can still call the Haunted Goblin King lock them. That's cool. This bark is useless against this card, and it's gonna spiral out of control, and I can't deal anything with it. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I literally can't deal with this. Oh. I can deal with this. I can deal with this. I'm on turn two of this. It'll be... 3,100 by the time he's done. I got hot deaths anyways, it's fine. We can still out this. Hot Desk can out this. Hot Desk will have massive stats. Actually. They can no longer be attacked. We can still out this. We go hard. We go giant germ. We go DD trainer. I actually, I have the giant germ here. Best case scenario. They destroy giant germ somehow. Is this just a bounce deck where all they're gonna do is bounce all my crap? Because my opponents. Mm, whatever, dude. That's a nice. That's a nice out. That outs the flame sprite. That's nice. Torrential? Compulse? Something stupid. Crap hole. Also fine in this situation. We still out this board. Hilariously, DD Trainer plus Bark is really good here. That's nice. Look at that nonsense, finally. Uh, just gotta calm down. I'm really tilted because I've been losing a bunch of games because I'm just not having good luck. Hmm. Now we out this thing. Axe of Despair on the flight. Oh boy, you shouldn't have. I don't know why I called you a flight. Eh, it's a flame spray, technically. Actually, um, actually, we're gonna suck with so armor that. Get outed, please. I no longer want to deal with you. Thank you. And there goes your win con. You feel like tributing that penguin soldier? Come on, do it. Give me that free damage. No, we're not gonna find. That's cool. I guess. 
Oh, gee willikers, dude! Mystic Tomato? That's gonna stall me for so long, dude. What am I gonna do? Oh, man. It's just... It sucks, dude. I don't think I can out that. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Dark Ruler Hades. Meet everybody's favorite monster. Why can I not... Oh, my opponent has a thing. Oh. Well, that must be nice. Okay. Well. Go ahead and out this real quick. Gravity Bind! We're fine. This is fine, actually. This is actually not bad. Because I summon the Optoclops. I have another fat body on board. Ha Death allows Goblin King to do his nonsense. Actually, we're going to DD Trainer here, because DD Trainer is a better out here. Because Goblin King and DD Trainer will have some pretty chonky stats. Burning Land. <laughs> Oh, my friend, you're not really outing me as the problem. I... I know something you don't. And that is the power of magic. You've shown your hand, buddy. And now... You pay... The price. TD Trainer... Mage power. Onto my DD trainer. And you know what? While I'm at it, we're just going to set ourselves another trap here. All right, let's go ahead and start outing this board of yours. I could bark that. I could, indeed. Now get outed. Yeah, I don't think so. Hades says no, no, no. Big Daddy Dark Hades is uh is very upset, like I've been for a few of these games. But it looks like things are finally turning around. You tried to do your little shenanigans with your Raging Flame Sprite and your Gravity Bind, but look, that doesn't work on me. I will out you, and I will pummel you into the dirt. Do you understand me, Adrian? You didn't just mess with any duelist today. You messed with the master of fiends. I am the queen of all fiends. Give me my crown. I will reign supreme. You have no outs to this. You do not beat this board. Go ahead and scoop. This game is over. You have zero, zilch, nada chances of winning. You have nothing you could do. This is absolutely a hopeless, fruitless endeavor of yours, Adrian. You messed with the best, and now you die like the rest. Because it's as simple as Opticlops. Now, DD Trainer attacks. Your monster is destroyed. No thank you. Dark Ruler Hades says, no, 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 you don't get flip effects. What you get to do is perish. The darkness has come. Your ruler has arrived. Kneel before Hades, and maybe he will spare you the agony of defeat. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to just beat the crap out of somebody with this after getting cheesed by Horus, after getting Exodiate. Oh, oh, it feels so good. I have the power. That's right, Adrian. You give up. Nothing matters. Burn 
by your own land. Because I'm not going to sit there and take the satisfaction of killing you myself. Why don't you do that for me? Go ahead. What's that burning land card do again? 500 damage during your standby phase? Aw, oh, gee willikers, Adrian. Looks like you shouldn't have put that card in your deck. You know, I'm being spiteful because I'm mad because I've lost a bunch of games. But to be fair, this is a cool deck. I do like Raging Flame Sprite and all these other nonsense cards he has. But I'm just not in the mood for it, so bye bye Go ahead, perish for me, please. Thank you. Uh, it feels good to be in charge. All right, we're sitting back down. We had our fun. Now we have to regain our composure and show everyone what royalty is like. Because as you saw... The Dark Fiends did surprisingly well in this event. I did have a bit of a losing streak with this towards my last game for this video. I apologize if I was saltier than usual, but losing five games in a row, especially to just bad card draw RNG, is never fun. But hey, even outside of that losing streak, we had a lot of fun with this. We did some hilariously silly things like Crush Card or Karibo and beat somebody down through level limit with Goblin King. It was just, we had a blast with this, and it made me really miss this incredibly old deck. It would never compete in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh, but getting to revisit it one more time puts a little bit of a dark spark in my heart. Anyways, thank you for tuning in to this episode. I know this was gonna be Monarchs, but Monarchs isn't really looking the way I wanted it to, and I just really wanted to play Fiends for this instead. So. Next time, we got a little bit more of the Time Travel 2004 event for you guys, because I've got an even funnier deck for you next time. So thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys then.